people want to know about what's happening in health and why certain drugs work the way they do and and what's happening in your brain when you get a disease and sometimes you don't want to go out there and read scientific papers it's too hard so it's it's probably easier to listen to a science program on radio or watch the telly and learn about it that way and you've been listening to the health report my name's Mareka Steffens and that's it for this week see you next time I've been doing this for about three years I'm 27 now and yeah, sometimes I work in a radio station and involves talking into the microphone, either interviewing people or doing presenting live programs. But I also work in television and I do lots of research and a bit of reporting as well. And that means going out on site, interviewing people, being in front of the camera and then putting the story together when you come back. Getting here was kind of a combination of so many different things. It was... It was a love of science, it was being interested in writing and, and all those sorts of things and that kind of led me in a particular direction but I didn't really, to be honest, know where I was going to end up. I think if you've got a passion for something you should follow your interests. You, you don't necessarily know where it's going to take you but it's going to take you somewhere really good if you're interested in that area. My dad studied science at university, he's a chemist, so that was always, you know, part of our family and it just really meant that science wasn't really scary in our family. So I was studying science when I was at university. I majored in microbiology and immunology and then I took on an arts degree at the same time. So I studied English literature and a little bit of philosophy as well. So just hang on a tick, I've just got to check something. Am I going to be on air anytime soon? Five minutes. Okay, thanks. So I don't think anyone gets their dream job straight out of university. You're so lucky if that actually happens. I wasn't really sure where I was going and then one day I was in the library and I picked up a magazine and it was a science magazine where they covered all sorts of different research that was going on and I thought, right, that's what I can do because I'm studying science, I'm studying arts and that's something that I'm really, really interested in doing and it combines really well. So that was kind of the beginning of when I started to say, OK, I'm going to head in this particular direction. I did go into a couple of jobs after uni. It was the type of thing where I was working in an office, I was wearing a suit, and I hated it. But I just kept on trying and looking and applying for different jobs that I didn't get. Um, and volunteering, that was the biggest thing, is volunteering so I was actually doing it, physically doing it, not just talking about it. The day that I decided I was going to volunteer, I was actually at um, a stall representing the company that I was working for at the time, but all I could think about was going to this other stall and seeing if I could become a volunteer at 2SER radio station. So I ended up sneaking off on my lunch break and abandoning the stall. Where, and I got all the information, I went on a bit of a tour up to 2SER, which was amazing. I'd never been in a radio station before and I sort of talked my way into it, I think, and I ended up getting a job there and working on a current affairs program on Saturdays. But it didn't feel like work because I was doing something that I was interested in. So this is me. How old was I? Early 20s with a pair of headphones on having to present a show on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday afternoon and scared the hell out of me, actually. <laughs> but I got a real kick out of it as well. It was fantastic. I think I got a real adrenaline rush afterwards, and that's addictive. I think you need to have confidence in yourself and know that you can get yourself out there, ask people questions, um, have opinions. My advice to other aspiring science journalists would be get out there and just get into it. Go and volunteer at a community radio station. Try and write as much as you possibly can. Talk to people in the industry and find out what they do and what's interesting to people out there and just get stuck into it. This is my dream job. I enjoy what I do. I love getting up in the morning. Um, I love finding out about the things that I'm researching and reporting on, so what more could you ask for? <laughs>